The Creality High is the latest and greatest development from Creality, offering the luxuries of a multicolor printer at a fraction of the price. The tried and true Beitslinger style printer comes with a build volume of 260 millimeters by 260 millimeters by 300 millimeters high. This is really nice in between the sizes that you usually get of 230 to 300. I'm really happy about that size over there. Some of the key features of this machine is its sleek slimline design, a hidden away camera inside there, 500 millimeters per second speed printer, and its screen. Its screen itself is a touch screen display with a very crisp and clear image. It can also flip in, flip out and rotate so that you can set it to the exact style that you are comfortable with. Please be very careful when you are rotating the screen because I do see that the force required to rotate it does warp that LCD screen just enough for discoloration to happen on the corners of the screen. Going back to the screen over here, it is a really lovely 3.2 inch display and it is very well laid out. I'm very happy with how this looks. It is very easy to navigate where you want to go to and it's very crisp and clear imaging. While you're busy printing as well, you do get a nice little image that you do know what exactly you are printing if you do have quite a lot of files on there. Speaking of files, you can do Wi-Fi printing from your computer with this guy. You can do the USB tried and true USB inside there as well. And you can store files on the machine's actual memory. This is gonna be really, really great if you are going to be repeating jobs. You can just save them on the printer and just rinse and repeat. Boost your creativity with the Creality High. So with this machine over here, we are getting the exact same CFS system that we see inside of the Creality K2 Plus. It is the exact same um, CFS system inside there so you don't have differences or what it can do and what it can't do. It is exactly the same one. And once again, you can stack up to four CFS systems for this printer to do up to 16 different colors in a single print. CFS system just opens up like this and closes right back down and you can also just lock it in place. Very easy to use, very, very simple. Right as soon as you open that CFS system, you'll see in the front, we do have our guides for our filaments to go into. As soon as you push that filament in, it just takes that filament all the way in to the back of the box and brings it back out. Very, very simple to use very, very easy to use. Speaking of the filaments, this guy also, much like the Creality K2, has RFID technology inside. So you can use specific RFID filaments inside here and it will automatically pick everything up. You don't have to use only RFID filaments. You can use the normal stuff as well. As you can see over here, we do have our Wanhouse Black, our Wanhouse Red, our Wanhouse Peak Green, and our Cron Skin Color. So it's not necessary for you to use only RFIDs, but it is a very nice luxury to know that you can if you do choose to. Going back to the design of this machine that I said was really nice and sleek, it is an all metal frame, very, very nice frame of here, very, very sturdy. I like the way that it bolts together over here. How the gantries get put onto each other is at the base of the machine, there is little spaces for the two motors, one on each side of the Z axis, to slot into two little screws on the top to lock that in with a nice little cover, and one screw at the back to really secure it. And this machine is stable. I really do like the feel of this. With the older technology machines, and we do know the ones that we're talking about over here, they do feel a little bit flimsy, they have a little bit of play. So it's very nice to see a bed slinger design have such a solid frame. It's very, very nice to see. We're also getting a new type of filament spool holder if you do choose to do only one color with a little clip on uh, section at the top. Very, very nice. I like the way that goes, especially because we do have that sleek design on the sides to have a well-finished look. Little box at the back of the machine that the CFS P2 
PTFE tubes go into is not permanently inserted on the selections point where I have put it. I can see on the box they actually put it on the side right over here of the profile and you can do that because nothing goes on the side here. So it does stick on with double side tape that is provided with the machine and you can choose where to put that. I've put my one at the back of here. I felt that this is the nicest place for it to go. However, on the box, it does say put it on the side of the extrusion. You can choose where you put it. Just make sure where you do put it. It is not in the way of any moving parts of the machine. And make sure that there's no kinks in those PTFE tubes that you have an easy, smooth transition for your filaments. Going back to the design one last time, I wanna show you guys how nice and low this bed is to the frame. It is just something so special over here. And it's such a nice, smooth action. It's really nice to see that they are thinking about little small spaces that everyone has to finick about, and they are combating this. And it's a, just a very nice, refreshing system that we have seen. Back to that bed size, we are getting a 260 millimeter by 260 millimeter by 300 millimeters high build volume. If you guys do want to know more about the CFS system and multicolor printing, I do have a YouTube video right over there about how to reduce your filament wastage and what the print's outcome looks like in each wastage selection. So it is a nice video to show you guys where you can put your wastage, how low you can make your wastage, and what will really work for you. So I do recommend if you are into multicolor printing and you guys want to get this started, go check that video out. I have gotten a lot of feedback that it was very helpful. And one of our customers specifically came in and he took that video and played with it even more. And he got beautiful results on his Creately K2. So I do recommend if you guys are in the market for a multicolor printer, check that video out. It will give you a lot of knowledge on how you can use your filament wastage for your multicolor filament. One really nice thing about this machine is all the optional extras that a lot of people like to print to customize their machine. They have to go find a file for or design one themselves. Everything is already loaded on this printer as a pre-installed file. You have stuff like the little gear cover over here that is mounted into your gear system for your feeder. You can do the whole extruder cover. You can customize the look of your machine however you want. And you can even take those and you can make different colors and make the printer look like how you'd like. You also have little trays that you can put on the side of the machine for your filament wastage to be caught. You can also just put a little dustbin over there, but who doesn't like a well-finished look? The print quality of this machine is very, very good. I'm very impressed with this. We did not do any Z offset adjustment. We did not do anything special in our settings. We sliced with standard 0.2 millimeter layer height with standard settings, standard everything that I can show you guys what a complete novice will get out the factory of how the finish would look. And I'm very impressed with how our prints came out. We did print in our Wan Hao Red, one of the pre-installed files that is this little gear rotation device over here. And it came out beautiful. It did print in the orientation of the small side down, and we had that large side on the top. If we go to our custom sliced print over here, like I said, everything is standard 0.2 layer height. Everything was completely standard. And we did do four colors inside here. And I'm very impressed with how smooth the top of the helmet and the back is. It's very nice to see quite a smooth finish. A lot of times you will see that ghosting effect over there. We do have it here. There's no deny that we do have it. It's just very, very minimal and it has such a sleek look. I'm very impressed with this. And with a couple of tinkering on settings and even a lower layer height, this will look immaculate.
My final thoughts of this machine is overall quite positive. I personally do not like multicolor printers because your wastage is always so, so high. But once again, you guys can go check out that video on how to minimize all of this waste over here. It is very nice to see a multicolor printer at this price point. It's very nice to see such a intelligent printer, such a new age printer with all the new age technologies coming in at this price point. It does make me consider going for a multicolor printer. It's not at that price point of the Creatly K2 Plus. Overall, it's a fantastic machine. The print quality is great. The learning curve is really low. It's so easy to use. It's very, very simple. If you guys have any questions about it, you can give us a call or email us. And don't forget, we do also have two physical stores. We have a store in Centurion and we have a store in Boxburg where you guys can come in, talk to our technicians, see what's on our shop front displays and come look at this printer for yourself. Have a look at the prints that we've done on it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like for us. It would be fantastic. We really do appreciate it over here. And if you guys like reviews of 3D printing, and other stuff like that, consider subscribing. We also have TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram where we have short format videos of machines like this and what we do with machines like this. I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.